Good morning, sixth grade. So in this problem, we are looking to find out um, how we can connect relationships between quantities and equations and graphs. So what I want to look at, sorry, this is already written on my screen. Um, I want to look at one problem together. So let's read this one. It says, Sean's mom asks him how long his homework will take. He tells her that he needs to read for 25 minutes and do some math problems that'll take M minutes. All together, his homework will take H minutes. So if we think about this one, if you went home and you were trying to figure out how long your homework was going to take, you would add all the minutes together, right? You'd say, well, I need to spend 25 minutes reading. And also, I need to add in the amount of time my math will take. And we can come here and see that math problems will take M minutes. And that together will give us the amount of time his homework will take. He might have other subjects, but in this problem it doesn't mention it, so we're going to ignore that for now. So when we write our equation, we'll use the variables I gave us. H, the total amount of homework time, is equal to 25 plus M. So then what we're going to do is we're going to come down to our table and we're going to fill it in. I like to add a third column to my tables. Um, we talked about it a little bit when we did expressions. So we'll have M and we'll also have H, but the one in the middle is going to be process. So our process here, we can see up in our equation, our H is equal to our M plus 25. So if we look at our table, we have our M here, and we have our H here, and to get from M to H, we have to add 25. So in our first example that they give us, we see 15 as M, and 15 plus 25 is 40. So all we have to do is figure it out with the other blanks. 20, and our process will stay the same, plus 25 is 45. And 25, sorry, there's a lot nowhere outside, plus 25 is 50. So I can come fill in 45 and 50. And we'll check it. So if you get stuck on these, it's really, really helpful to find the process to get you from M to H. Um, and also to just reason through what the problem is asking. What would you do if you were in these same circumstances that the word problems suggest? Um, if you have any trouble, reach out on post and have a great day.